Yes, what's up? Welcome back. If you clicked on the video, you're probably curious, like, how can I make my UTV run cooler, my ATV run cooler? And, um, well, you got to unclog that radio. Yeah, make sure the radio is not clogged up. No, the, uh, what do they call that thing? Radiator? Yeah, that thing. So you got to make sure the radiator is not clogged up. And mine actually looks pretty dirty. Take a look. Somebody always texts me when I'm videoing and I forget to undo it. So let's, let's turn that off. Okay, phone is on silent. We got it figured out, it's called a radiator. Back to, the, back to work here. What you wanna do is take off the front shield of your ATV. This one's a brute force. I already took the bolts off. Now I got direct access to the radiator and the nice little coils and fins going on in here. Let me get this light here. You can see how nasty it is. I mean, it's really full of like plant particles. I don't know, it's some kind of plant seeds. I think dandelion seeds. I mentioned cotton seeds, it ain't that. So call me out on that. Anyway, it's something that shouldn't be in there. Not permitting airflow. So it needs to come out. And it would not come out, would not come out with a pressure washer. We tried a pressure washer. We tried a, a air compressor with a blower. It won't come out. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna hit it with the vacuum. And then we have some of this stuff here. Evap foam, no rinse. So you spray this guy inside. And then what happens is this liquid, when you spray it in, it starts to foam and push out all the rest of the grit, the grime, the yuck that's left behind. So I don't know if it's gonna work. If it does, it's gonna be a sweet, sweet trick. And I wanna have some videos, some film proof for it. So let's get to it. I'm gonna turn on this noisy vacuum first. And we're gonna see if this sucks out some of this grass. Let's get the light right on it so we can see what's going on. You can see what's going on. Comment if you notice you're real dirty or if you have a trick to clean it, but let's see what happens. Let's get it started. Well, be careful not to bend these too, they're real delicate. Looks like it's getting some out. Still lots of, lots left behind in there. Man, I put, I hit this thing hard from both sides. <laughs> oh, y'all don't comment on that, but I, I did. I hit it with the pressure washer from front and back of this radiator. And it still left all this behind. So I hope that we can get it cleaned up and it won't make that fan turn on so often. Vacuumed, vacuumed the best I could. I sucked a few up, but not much. There's a lot just crammed stuck stuck in there. I don't think I got like almost burned, soldered to it. So the next step, shake this bad boy up. It says use in temperatures below 120. Well, good news is I keep it below 120 in my garage, so we're gonna be safe. Let's go ahead and spray this on. I'm going to start at the, the top and hose it down. Come on, baby. Keep, keep working. Now we're getting to the dirty, dirty, dirty stuff. Got to get these corners. And this has good uh, lemon scent to it. 
So you're gonna smell like lemonade when you're riding around. Okay, so let's keep going. You might have to do a couple rounds of it. This is the first time I've ever done this. I did some research before attempting this. And this seems to be a really cool way of doing it. There we go. Now as this foams up, it's going to start pushing out the dirt with it. And some of this nasty, um, I don't know, there's some kind of seeds or some kind of bushes. It's running over all kind of stuff. So I'm going to let that sit for a second. And I'm going to turn the camera back on and see what it looks like after some of this stuff has dripped off. Because it's kind of like watching paint dry at this point. Unless you like watching paint dry, then just go ahead and take a look at this shot. Pause the video. Okay, we're back. It's been about maybe four minutes. And all the bubbles almost quit popping. You can tell it left a lot of nastiness over here in this area. Like, just go my thumb fingernail. Look at that. That's some straight up dirt. And um, we're going to need to spray it again. What I want to do is hit the vacuum on it now that it pulled a lot of stuff to the surface. And then we're going to spray it again. Before I do that, I want to show you. So back to what I use. This is the first one I use. Evap foam, no rinse. And there's another brand out there. We're going to try that now. It's called uh, Frost King Foaming Cleaner. So we'll see if this does anything different. Comment on which one you think worked better. So I'm going to get the vac out. Probably going to go in hyper speed when I, when I video this. But let's go ahead. and We're going to suck this up. But notice the, um, the plants, plant shrapnel. All that fun stuff is... You can see some color in it now. You see some green, some tans. Not not so much everything's dirt colored. So um, it's definitely working. We need to probably vacuum it and spray it again, which we're gonna do. So here we go. Be very careful not to hurt the fins. I bent one of them, I had to get a screwdriver out and straighten it back up. I'm sorry, I know it's loud and vacuuming and talking over it. It's kind of like when your wife is talking to you while she's blow drying her hair. That's what it's doing on here. <laughs> anyway, comment if you know what I'm talking about. And it's looking pretty good, folks. Looking really good. All right. We got most of it vacuumed up as we can. It still, it looks better. I'd say it looks 50% better. We still need some more. So we're gonna go another round of spraying. This time we're gonna focus more on the bottom half because that's the nastiest. This corner still got some dirt in it. Wow, this stuff foams kind of too fast. And if I hold this can, at a weird angle, it doesn't like it. There we go, it's finally, it seems like it's doing what it should. Seems like it likes it when I uh, just pile it in. Keep pushing more out. Okay. We soaked it pretty good that time. This one's foamier. I don't know if I like it as much. It seems like it foams right when it hits instead of a delay foam. So we'll see if it cleans it. It looks like it's working on that corner. I don't know, let's see. Let me know what y'all think so far. We're gonna give 
We're gonna give this one a few minutes and I'll come back. Well, all right, we about got this thing finished up. The last pieces of foam are falling off. And I, I do still have a couple pieces of plant left in there. Like if you look at it, still just a few in there. Let's get the light on it. But remember what it was before? Yeah, that thing was nasty, but look at this. I'd say, say it's way better. And you really don't even have to take all this stuff off. All the plastics, all this, this thing came with a, like a little expanded metal cover over too, which is really tough to, tough to take off. But I want to do it for the video to show you up front, like how it works. So next time what I might do is just be lazy and spray it, spray them through all that stuff and then let it foam up and, and come out. I'll probably do that more often. If, if I would have been doing it right, I'd probably use that thing can every time after I'd ride. That's the first time I've cleaned it. And this, this brute force is, I don't know, over two and a half years old now. So if I would have probably kept up, done that like every six months, it wouldn't get so nasty and be easy to keep up with. So pro tip would be, man, check that thing periodically after you ride. If you notice when you're riding, there's a lot of debris flying up. If you're hitting a bunch of tall, tall plants and um, tall grass, you know, stuff like that. But if you want to grab some of these, you can get them at your local like Ace Hardware or some type of hardware store and some HVAC shops have them. Either one of these two. You can pause it and get a, get a look at it. But be careful. There's some videos out there. Some dude spraying it with, with acid. And it looks really cool. It, it foams up really nice. But it can break down your paint, your wires. It can break down aluminum. All this stuff here says, this one here says it's, look, it's non-corrosive to metals and plastics. Cleans and deodorizes. You can even use this on um, your kitchen appliances and stove. So it's not too bad stuff. And it says no rinse needed. So there you go. I hope you enjoyed it. Give this video a thumbs up. Share it. Let me know if you like some, some pro tips like this. And so as always, I'm trying to do stuff that maybe you won't see on the internet and you find useful. So tell your friends about the channel. I need some more subscribers. Thanks again. See ya.